Uh, hi, this is John with the Hovercam, and today I'd like to talk about two features in Hovercam Flex, OCR and Digital Signature. Now, OCR is called, is, stands for Optical Character Recognition, and what it's used for is scanning an offline page and digitizing it. So we could take a printed page, like this photography contract that I have right here, and digitize it so that I could bring it into, let's say, Microsoft Word to modify the contract, send it back to the photographer. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm in flex, I'm in scan mode, I'm going to take a scan and then I'm going to double click on that scan off to the right here and then I'm going to click on OCR at the very top of the screen and the OCR is going to try to read this particular contract and digitize it. So it did, it read it back to me and what we have here is the page uh, digitized. Not every word is absolutely perfect, so uh, you know if you depend on OCR, I think you uh, probably want you know a more robust OCR solution. But this is pretty good for what I want. So I could actually copy and paste this and bring it over into Word, or I could even just modify it right into here. So I could you know add in words, whatever I wanted to. I could even have Hovercam read it back to me. Photography contract one. The client shall reimburse photographer for. So pretty neat already. But in addition, if I liked this contract and I thought it was a good contract, I could go ahead and sign it through Hovercam. Now, of course, you could always just sign the page and scan it and send it back to the photographer. But let's say I wanted to apply a digital signature to this. What I would do is I click on Archive, double click on the particular uh, image that we're looking at, this photography contract, go to Signature. And I already have my signature saved here, so I could just apply it right on there. Now, once I have my signature saved, it asks me for a password. So all I have to do is just enter my password, and boom, I've got my pat my signature right there on that page. Now, in order to capture your signature, I'm going to go ahead and delete my signature so I can show you how you actually create one. Let's see, I didn't have a signature. I would click on signature it would ask me to create a new signature. I would say yes. I want to put in my name and my password so no one else can use my signature. And you got to make sure your passwords match, of course. And then you have two ways of doing your pa your uh, signature, I'm sorry. Uh, freehand signature, which is basically you're using the mouse to sign the screen. So you click on pen and you know whatever font you have selected, that's what it's going to use. So I got this red font selected. So, you know, I mean, I could use this as my signature. Basically, I'm using the mouse just to sign. But a more accurate way of doing it would be image signature. So image signature, you, you would sign a page. And I'm just going to sign a page real quick just to show you. You put it under the camera. You set the signing region. So what you're doing here is you're selecting where your signature is. So my signature is right here. And once I think this looks good, then I would go ahead and capture signature and click OK. And now I've got a digital signature that I can apply to whatever contract or uh, paper that I would like to apply it to. Again, to apply it, I need to know my password so no one else can sign things in my name. And that's all there is to it. Then I could save that and send that off to the photographer and we're in business.